Hello everybody, welcome back to GTA 5. Today, we're on a builder site. Uh, we don't have the appropriate footwear or hatwear, and we don't need to, because you can get on a builder site without any protective clothing, as long as you're inside your truck. This is a pretty damn cool mod, if I do say so myself. We're gonna start off the day by um, actually collecting a digger. We're gonna, we're gonna drive around to the other side of this place and collect the digger, so let's, uh, let's get in and go collect said digger. While we talk about this uh, this ride quite a bit, actually, um, I want to start actually by removing some of these extras I've got on it. So it's a it's a long ass trailer. Um, if we look in menus, customs, we can go to vehicle options, menu customs, and extras, and then we can remove all of the extras here and see just how it looks naked. And I think just while it's not an oversized load, we probably should do exactly that. There she is coming out. She's huge. She's long. And that's because we're going to transport something really cool. We're not going to really pay attention to the rules of the road like every truck driver should. There we go. And we just have to drive in here to collect our load. There we go. Driving through. I'm just looking for it. I'm looking out for it somewhere. Ah, there she is. So today, we're picking up a dozer. <laughs> um, how? I haven't really worked that out. So I'm going to start. This is another cool thing with this mod. I don't know why... I haven't really spoken much about this mod, but it's a truck mod and it's a trailer mod. They're two totally different things. If I can remember how to take the trailer off. Is it down? No, is it up? How do you take trailers off of trucks? Okay, so you're probably wondering how we get this onto here. And it's actually really, really easy. So this comes with a, a feature where you can actually get into the vehicle. And that's a bit, it's a bit strange, I understand. Um, but then if we go into the menu customs, uh, we can go to vehicle options, menu customs, extras and actually remove extra two that then allows us to hop into our bulldozer or i would call that a jcb but for some reason it's called the dozer doesn't look much like it would doze anything but that's fine and we can actually reverse up onto the trailer so we're going to do that right now oh i want to get nice and centered ready for the the long drive okay cool and put that all the way down get out of the dozer the door does stay open it's a bit annoying but i can't can't change that unless I leave the engine on. Then we can get back in this and then we can add extra two back on here. And also, I think this is a bit of a big load. I mean, it's not the widest load, but I'm still just, just to be cautious, gonna add on the oversized load thing. And mainly because it's cool. It doesn't flap in the wind or anything like that, but that's still, I, I still dig it. Um, okay, cool. And now we can actually spawn in the truck as well. Even though that was spawned in earlier, we kind of uh, got rid of it. And to spawn that in, we just type Phantom HD. Boom, there we go. And that should hopefully now, it's almost like magnetizes to it. There we go. It's a bit no clippy, but that's cool. I'm actually fine with that because it means it works. And we should now hopefully be able to take this to where we want to take it. Let's pick somewhere on the map. Um, I believe there's somewhere up here that has like a, a little bit area. So we'll take it somewhere in here. We'll probably just drop it inside the gates because that's a, that's a bit too far for me to be taking it all that all that way um, and we'll actually ditch the the lorry there or the or the truck oh um maybe i went too fast <laughs> so i wonder if that's inevitable if that's always going to happen because i have seen mods in the past that carry vehicles and keep the vehicles on them but maybe whoa jesus what happened here there's nothing to do with me i swear um but maybe it's sort of inevitable that it's just going to keep falling off yeah look it's, it's always going back well, let's go really, really, really slow. <laughs> like, apparently, there we go. If we brake, that helps. I wish there was some sort of way we could, like, put the handbrake on or something. But it doesn't. All right, let's get rid of the, let's get rid of the trailer. I don't really care. Come on, off you go. I don't, I'm not, I'm not one that cares for loads. And then let's just talk about how this thing handles. Like, it's, it's really good. I like the idea of driving a huge vehicle around uh, Los Santos, like maneuvering and stuff. It's very, very awkward when I'm trying to take, not take out that street sign. It doesn't, oh no, wait, that didn't even take it out. I'm just grinding along the curb. All right, that's fine. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's. I'm really into like American truck simulator and stuff at the moment. So this huge American truck is just awesome to me. The torque on it though, uh, well, maybe not the torque, but the power 
does feel a little bit unrealistic because this thing shifts. Um, let's get the speeder up in game actually. There we go. So let's see how fast we can get up to in oh, in average traffic. I'm just going to cut around all these guys. So it's just boring to to wait for. There we go. Well, we're about to go on the motorway. So that's the perfect place to test the speed of this bad boy. All right, here we go. So it's only actually like 50 miles per hour. It feels super fast. I think it's probably because we're in such a long vehicle. But I guess maybe it's not that long at all. Oh, it's not that fast at all, actually. Yeah, I guess when you get on the motorway, the acceleration is just pretty damn immense. I don't know. It's, it's still cool, though. And it feels like an actual in-game truck. I know that sounds weird to say, but um, like when we unlink the trailer, the camera gets closer. Um, it's, it's very well scripted, basically. And this is available in an add-on and a replacement. So you can have it as, as an additional extra. Um, so you get all the add-on features like the uh, like the ramps and things like that. Or you can have it as, as just a replacement, which means you'll, you will lose a truck in-game, but you're more likely to see um, citizens and stuff driving around with this truck and the trailer. However, I don't know what the trailer would look like on a normal truck. Um, so yeah, I don't know how great that would be. At night, this thing looks pretty cool as well, with the... Um, very American orange lights there. Oh, is there a police chase going on behind me? I should I should pull over and let this happen. Oh, oh, sorry, hey. car. Oh. Oh! Damn! They're just, they're, that's just in front of... I don't want to see that. It's almost like they pulled over for, just for me to witness that. Um, yeah, anyway, yeah. So the, the lights at night look very cool. It's a shame the ones at the top don't actually do anything. I don't think. Um, but yeah, I'm going to quickly switch back to daytime just for this fact that we're pulling up at our destination now here we go so get around some very tight bends again we have a stop sign here but i'm not really going to pay too much attention to it because we are a big ass lorry or a big oh god why the gta ai is so stupid <laughs> can there be a mod for that please smarten these guys up i've got no choice but to scratch the trailer here oh my god the bus is gonna be so unhappy but look oh my god this thing is just king of the road it looks so cool almost crashed though Oh lordy, we have a really awkward turn coming up in a second. <laughs> Talking of AI and stupidity. We're stuck behind this truck that's doing like 10 miles per hour as well. Oh, mind you, this, this corner isn't too bad actually. Because it's all off-road, we're pretty much... Look at this, this is easy. I don't know what I was worried about. This isn't actually the building site I wanted to go to, so as a truck driver, I would be pretty bad, but it will do. Here we go, going up the hill, and as if by magic... We have the dozer reattached, hopefully to stay just, just, just for the rest of the journey at least, just until we get to the unloading point, which I don't really know where that is, but when we get there we'll do a couple of modifications as well, we'll see what this truck has, um, modify-wise. I'm going to creep up this hill because this thing is so... I don't know how we can lock it on there more, and if you do know then please let me know. <laughs> I thought putting vehicles on vehicles was just fine in GTA, but obviously it's not. We are absolutely creeping. Alright, okay, I think this is a safe place to keep it. Just by the side of the road here. They can collect it because it's about to fall off anyway. And then we're not even going to bother removing that. This right here. See, you can just run through it. It's basically so you can get trucks on and off quite easily. This is a nice touch. This is hanging off the edge here. There we go. Let's just reverse this off. Oh, we can't actually move? Eh, yeah, kind of. There we go. And the trucks despawn just in time for us to want to modify it as well. Brilliant. <laughs> right, so what modifications can we do to this freaking bad boy? Right, let's go into menu customs. We're going to go to vehicle options, menu customs, and then we're going to have a look. We're going to start by changing the paint. I'm going to put it as primary and set it to metallic red, I think. Let's have a look. Red's like the most generic race racing? No, most generic lorry or truck color I think it just looks cool as hell and if you're wondering yeah I've got it in auto drive mode just so we while we drive up this hill just so we can find a really good spot oh here's pretty cool actually oh I can't take it off of auto drive let, let me stop please here we go on top of the hill that's perfect if we could just reverse up just to just a wee bit there we go and there we are okay cool so I'm going to just detach the trailer just for the sake of being able to no, go away. Been able to get a bit closer. There we go. A bit closer to the vehicle. 
Um, and yeah, let's see what we can do then. Okay, so we have the vehicle options here with the menu customs. We don't have much. I don't think we should touch the wheels because the game will crash. Uh, paint, we're going to go to primary. We're going to change it to a slightly different red, but I'm still going to keep it red, I think. Too bright. Oh, that's that's kind of perfect. I like I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, mind you, some of these utility might be quite nice. Off white, just because it's got to look like a track. Is a track? No, it doesn't have to look like a track. Oh, it has to look like a truck. Oh, that red's a bit too. Oh, that's nice. No, they're all ugly. Okay, all right. We're gonna stick with formula red. Um, we're gonna go for worn. And we're gonna make it. Oh wow, what? Oh no, that's a worn color. Sorry. There's a there's a way you can make it look dirty. Where is that? Ah, paint fade. There we go. And put that on the biggest it can be, which is one. And then put this on the biggest it can be. Which is very, very, very dirty. Look at the wheels, man. Ugh. Um, and then I think the only thing we can actually do, we can tint the windows. I don't think we really can. No, they don't tint. Good. Um, we can put turbo on it. Xenon lights are an extra. Um, we can change the engine sound, but that's not really kind of something that's an optional extra on just any car really and then we've got the extra so what's extra three? Oh, okay so they're the wheel guards nice now start with extra one spare wheels they don't suit the dirt though I must say they're not dirty at all extra two is the little flags the thing with the flags is they'd be even cooler if they flapped in the wind I don't know if that's like something that's just impossible to do but yeah it is still cool nonetheless um, extra three is obviously the wheel the wheel uh, cover thingy my bobs extra four Oh, I can see so is something changing. Ah, oh, oh, it's the lady on the bottom of the mud flaps. Look at that, off and on. Oh, that, no, that's it. Yeah, an extra five. Is also some. Hey, whoa! Look at that bad boy. It's the visor. Can you even see out the car when it's in there? Oh, yeah, you can, but it really keeps the sun and everything else out of your eyes, which is kind of good. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, I know that was uh, really pointless. It feels pointless when you do videos like this on just a single mod. But honestly, I really, really like it. I kind of dig it, if you'll pardon the pun. We did just take a dozer. Um, it is very cool. I like mods that are unusual because it's very generic to have like a Porsche mod or a Toyota mod and things like that. And while I've got... Oh, guys. Can I race in my truck? I'd like to please tell me I can take my truck. What am I in? Oh man. <laughs> Let's see if we can spawn it in. Vehicle options. Vehicle spawner. Input model. Phantom HD. Ah, oh, damn it. We can still chase them down though. I mean, oh, they just turned into normal traffic. Including my vehicle. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. Coming through. And you, buddy. There we go. So we just caused a wreck. There we go. That's that's pretty much made this video non-PG. It was good until then. But yeah, I like doing mods like this because they're sort of not unrecognized, but they're not really the generic thing that people do. Um, I love all vehicles pretty much. Trucks are just awesome. They're just there's just something really cool about a big truck, isn't there? Uh, but yeah, for now, thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you want to see more. If you see a mod that you want me to cover, let me know that too. Um, you can tweet me at Kieran Does Media. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit thumbs up. If you like my videos, go ahead and hit subscribe, and I will see you in a bit.